The only problem is, you notice there's no hole right here. And right there is a, uh, you can take an SMT part and hold it against it with your finger, hit the button, and do the same deal. Brain Wagon got us to buy. It's Brain Wagon's fault. It's Brain Wagon's fault. Yeah. yeah right there. And we are kidding up. Uh, Ellen. All right. So, is that a P8 sign? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. No. All right. So, uh, because this is the reward that we got for participating in what was it? The makerspace competition. So we got five instructables prize packs, and that's like one shirt each. So I think I got one for. I want to say, hey, Jesse. Hey, how's it going? You made it. What's up? I think your resolution is going to be high enough to do that. Oh wait, no. That's the question. That's alright. You can do it in part. I feel like I think Jesse got one. James got one. You got one. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I don't cut what's over in here. Cut a finger off. We need blood this week. Her jacket's already Wait, red. If that happened, we wouldn't get food. Was this it? is to share. Nope. Mm -hmm. what is it? Ooh, yes. Frost top? Yeah. Yeah, that stuff's good. I just stopped at Ace Hardware, so it's, it's cream soda. Yes. I'll a shot of that one. It's, it's really home. good. That brand, that brand is really good. <laughs> Shoot. Found it. What? Miles. He's not here. That's not Miles. Uh, That's Jesse. Jesse. Oh, it's hard to be Peter. <laughs> Too many redheads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you want an LCR meter that I just put the orders in for? <laughs> LCR meter? Go under over here. I'll show sure. you that video. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you actually ready? No. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Oh, it's like stuck. That. Okay. <laughs> so, we got a shirt. I think John got a shirt or something like that. Or... Mm -hmm. Peter got a shirt. I don't know. Here's one. a shirt. It's a nice shirt. This one is not mine, yeah. as you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it says Instructor Brew on the back. Excellent. Yeah. Should be five of them yeah. in there. Working on it. Oh. We got another blue one. Mm hmm. Much blue. Fine. Much blue. Are they all blue? No. Okay. But this one is also not mine. They push okay. <laughs> Tells you the pin out of the train. So it's bigger mm -hmm. than physically my maybe. torso. And they're like 15 bucks. And there's a red one. So oh, that's a nice color. I'm wet. What what size is it? This one is medium. You can have that one okay. if, if you want. Interesting. That's Probably. one of yours. So is Probably it, that. Is well, it kind of like, uh, well, it's like uh, girl shape too. Cool Sweet. But pre and oh yeah, that's probably yours yeah, then. So. Oh, excellent. So it's basically. And then this one. There's a MOSFET. Is there. also a medium, yeah. but it's a man it's medium. I think that's a uh, James. There's a lot of man mediums. Yeah. There's like nine mediums or something. <laughs> Tries yeah, but we, we could only get five, so I just en ended up getting ones that people... <laughs> For people who did them? Yeah. Okay. And then... Oh! Patch. Patches! Cool. Patch! Patch! Um, well, I guess if you've already put the order in, then... Yeah, I just found them on. Uh, yeah. Stickers! Okay. Sticker! 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 Oh, God! China, so, so many! Uh, right. Oh, they're not all the same! <laughs> So many stickers. Okay. Yeah, cool, but so just, uh, guess, we're gonna, I guess, do some wallpapering. Okay. With just instructable stickers. All right. Sounds good. So do you have like a bathroom, maybe? A closet or like a nook? You want an instructable nook? We could do that. I'll think about it. I'll let you know. Little instructable nook. Hey, Addy. I'm showing my pride. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, so very are the red nice. ones instructable shirts too? Yes. <laughs> yes. This one's mine. But, hey, but not everybody not gets this one. one. Oh. Yeah. This one's mine because it's girl-shaped. Only five of them came. Five of them were allowed to do. So I did them for the people who actually wrote instructables. Which I did not, so. Yeah. yeah. But you already have one, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Exactly, yeah. So many. Okay, so. Right. We should have a Kickstarter James. where the prize is instructable You get a shirt. Stickers and, uh, get a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Shirt. What shirt? What shirt does he get? Uh, yeah, this one's a medium tacos. one. Yes, is, tacos are tasty. Is that yeah, your they, size? They sound really I'm good. Medium. Okay, it's, okay. It's the same on the back. It's super lame. Here That's from Instructables to you. There you go. Yeah. Well done. I love it. Okay, and then <laughs> who's 
Cheers were these? I raided Radio it's Shack nice. in the Twin Cities. Uh, got a pair of those I have to figure it out. I don't know them. who all wrote instructor rules for us. There, that was usually. But these are oh, you know who did? Yeah. Rhino. I'm a rhino. What's his name? Ryan. Ryan. Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. I raided in Radio Shack. So he's one, yeah. that's one of them. One of these is his. Ago. Yeah. Extra, extra you know, move. And then the other one, I think maybe I did get for Peter. I cleaned out all their solar cells. Or. Because I think he helped that a lot. Was about all and AC. Yeah. That was about that all they had left. Okay. So what happened? So, I had to do, this is going to mount in the back. And it's going to push through the that side. Okay. So you just product, have to cut a hole. Yeah, it's cut a hole. This is like a cardboard. Oh, okay. The flexi board or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So I just used the knife to <laughs> cut it with. Is that really nice? Nice. Good job. Hides really well. Yeah. Surplus parts. I think we're 75 cents. Oh, sweet. I figured it out. Nice. Inflammable. Inflammable. Is that more or less than the yeah. uh, <laughs> flammable That's mine. point of like lamp wax, nope. lamp oil? Those are Kodamas. Much higher. Julie got her. Daddy made okay. me a ruler, yeah. pencil, eraser holder for that uh, DIY drafting table. Yes, that's for carbon monoxide day. But I just got it done today. So. Bird's eye maple. Woo! Suction cups. Suction cups. And fancy artwork. Yep. Ta -da. It's toad school. Those tools are crazy. Do you like them? <laughs> yeah, I thought they'd be fun. And this was done by layered resin art, I guess. So there's, I think, let me count. I guess I can count. One, two, three, four, a... five, six, seven. Oh. Seven or eight layers of, I of epoxy. I should copy the WPA supplicate from that. Um, there we go. Anything else to say? Mm. We're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm just sanding this smooth-ish. Um, it got kind of roughed up. You can kind of see the rough oh, patches here. Oh, yeah. That's from the, the really aggressive sandpaper. Um, oh. And uh, right now I've moved on to the smooth stuff, but it's still not going to be the finishing sanding. Mm -hmm. The finishing Mount sanding Sanders is be, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So how can Whisker help you and um, all that? Because I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing right now, which is filming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I initially I was going to lay it on its side and then sand down, mm -hmm. but it seems too wobbly and like I'm putting too much strain on these, uh, oh, these things. Oh, sure. So... If there's some way to secure it, or we could just switch off sanding, one of the two. Um, so, yeah, we could... Yeah, see that? That's just too unstable for my liking. I feel like I might break one of the... one of those. Alright, but with somebody holding on to it, it's a different story. That's true, yeah. Um, Let's, uh, Give it a go, see what you think. Sure. Do you need um, a hearing protection whisker? Not yet. To uh, the <clears throat> router table connection there. It's a plug. Oh, got it. Okay. Um. It's the yellow cable. Oh, this one. Yep. Okay. I and then the be... switch is the green one. Right. I mean, let's go. Got it. Okay. Oh, is that not on? I just. No, no, you're fine. Uh, got it. 
I like the switch on this thing. That's kind of nice. Okay, go for it. Wait, do you want to lower your arm right here? Because I was going to sand over here and I didn't want to get too close. There we go. Is cheesecloth the same as tackcloth? Um, tackcloth is cheesecloth with wax oh, on it. Oh, I see. Just to pull all the dust off. Mm -hmm. Now it's sitting on our finished router table sled. I can move it in a moment. You're fine. I'm just showing, giving them context. Got it. <laughs> yeah. So, it's pretty smooth. Good. Definitely nice enough to put in your home. Yeah. Kind of dig that design. You need to put one upstairs. Yeah. Um, so you can get on that. I can, uh, I've got the design right over there. Did you laminate this board to make it wider or is this uh, start out wide enough? That starts out that way. So I was at Lowe's. I'm sure that Home Depot or wherever has their own versions of this. But it's they basically got 12 inch wide stuff, I think is the biggest that they've got. That's that's what this is. Um, actually, I think I saw a 16 inch wide at Lowe's, but this is all 12 inch. So this was, so this is the full 12 inch, right? So this is nine, and then it's cut down to the corner. And then this is cut part way down, and then mm -hmm. that's all it is. The only difference I would, make in this design is I'd give it wider dowels, but not even by a huge amount. Mm -hmm. By the next like eighth inch or just one size up. Mm -hmm. But it's certainly good enough. Why bigger dowels? Uh, just because, you know, sanding it, it feels a little bit wobbly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it'll be a problem, especially since it'll be just sitting in the closet. Yeah. But um, for moving it around or for you know, bumps. You just or, don't want to be afraid of breaking it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's it. I, I do like the design. Um, yeah. It looks cool. Yeah. And I need a shoe rack. Yeah. That would work. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, All right. What is this gadget? It's the uh, Make Smith. Okay. CNC. Cool. So. Have you gotten it working or doing anything yet? Yeah, I can. Plug it in, and move the motors around. Okay. And so what? Lithium grease and. Yeah. Cool. And what? What are your goals for this? this? This was supposed to be for the uh, for PCB etching. If you want to make a, an individual PCB. Oh neat. Or for small projects that you need to work that didn't require that thing. I used a continuous rotation servo here for this drive screw that moves the table back and forth. Mm -hmm. And here on the back, they glued a magnet to the end of the, the screw mm -hmm. and then put a magnetometer sensor right there so they can detect the flipping of the magnetic field as it goes around. Interesting. And that's how they're doing their uh, encoding of where it's at, which is very similar to how we're going to do the robo jib. Okay. And we've also, they've got easily decoupler so you, you just pull the screws and you pull the whole motor out mm -hmm. 
So it, it has a little gear, but because it's encoded, any any little slop is taken care of by the encoder. Neat. So you don't have to worry about that. So that was a neat thing they implemented. Cool. Well, and of course it's all hobby yep. wire and yep. cheap. Yeah. Keep it cheap. Keep it cheap. Cool. So ideas for the rubber chip. Ready? So we added the fence. Yep. And that clamps on with C clamps. And then it's got these hold down clamps here. And to test it, we did some work on Addy's tea cabinet project. Yep. These are the side braces. One's got one. And so we used it to cut the side supports. Let's see if we got the right ones. So those are the results we were able to get with that first test. Yeah, looks good. They all line up nice and neat. It's very repeatable, which is what we need. Mm -hmm. So there you go, guys. There's the router sled all working and put together. Still need to shore up this table a bit, but. Woo Cool. Quick yep. Bam! Looks good. Looks good. Congratulations. Nicely done. Very useful. Alright, Flint.